up guys, boy Big Bro Jordan. I'm back with another one for y'all in today's video. I'm gonna talk about military catfishing. Let's get to the video. Alright guys, I'm gonna skip the intro man, cause as y'all can see I'm going to PT, not cause I have to, but because I want to. But let's talk about it guys. I got an email from one of my loyal, loyal, loyal supporters, man. I'm not gonna mention her name, um, but after reading the email, she'll know who it came from. And pretty much the email is just kind of stating that she was approached by a military service member, say he was stationed in Kuwait, said he was he 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 was a service member, he got injured, he hurt himself. I'm going to read some of the email, but I'm going to read it in my chipmunk voice so I can, like, speed it up real quick for y'all real quick. All right. All right, guys. This is a long email, so chipmunk voice is starting now. Girly writes, Big Bro Dre, I really, really, really could use your help. I've met an Army soldier on IG. At least that's what he says he was. He's Army soldier. Who's was stationed in Kuwait. I swear this man moves fast, and after two to three days on and off chatting, he started proposing uh, love to me and proposing marriage. I'm older than you, so I'm not naive. He and I are the same age. So needless to say, all sorts of red flags went up for me. Then sure enough, within a week, he supposedly sustained a fall, injuring himself in his smartphone. How convenient. Now he's asking me to help him get a phone stay side because apparently he's in the middle of the desert. Also, the fact that he can't use his credit card because the bank suspects fraud. Based on one of your videos, you did mention that the PX, you can buy electronics there. So that's definitely a big red flag. Apparently, his phone, uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max is on his last leg. So he asked me to purchase a postpaid iPhone 12 Pro Max for him. Because of a lot of uh, shortage stay side, I told him that the only iPhone 12 is available. To make a long story short, it's a long ass story too, by the way, um, young lady. To make a long story short, I didn't get him the phone. My mom didn't raise no fool. Talk about a manipulative and pushy. I've done all sorts of uh, SHIT to discourage as well as break up with him. But damn, he's insistent. He's been begging me to go to store to get him the phone because he really missed his son and can't communicate with him. All right, hold on, y'all gotta break. Jesus, this is, this is long. Jeez. I like to support our men and women who serve our country, but what he's doing is making him look bad. Here's a list of a few other red flags. Please confirm for me that if I was correct in suspecting that these are lies he's been selling. Supposedly, he's part of a special forces group that goes out on patrols and they work seven days a week with no days off. Also, he can't FaceTime phone calls because it's against the rules. Sorry for the extremely long uh, email. I just bought, I just thought that I'd share this as well as, damn, that's some bad, what, is, what are you talking about right there? <laughs> I just thought that I'd share this as, get, as well as get confirmation that my instincts are correct about this supposed army guy. Maybe more like an impersonator, in my own opinion, or my honest opinion. Perhaps you can also use this as an idea for your video as a former PSA for unsuspecting supporters of armed forces who could be taken advantage of and that is not the end of that email sorry for this uh, uh thank you for all your educational videos also thank you in advance for any assistance in terms of exposing some lies have a great day stay safe god bless you and your fam so the first one i saw was when uh two to three days in she was he was proposing like marriage and saying he loved her don't nobody do that shit like if you love somebody it kind of takes some time to get to know them before you just out here talking about you love them that love at first sight like that's that's fugazi ain't nobody doing that so that's the first red flag that I saw, all right? The second red flag that I saw was when he asked for, oh boy asked for an iPhone 12 Max. You know how expensive them shits is? Like, nobody just not gonna give you no iPhone 12 Max, all right? So, I, like, for anybody to ask you for anything monetarily, especially somebody in the military who getting a check on the first and the 15, that is a freaking big red, super red flag. And I, I think in her email, she said that was a red flag too. So she did end up getting in the email or the iPhone. So good job on that shit. The third red flag and probably the final one, I might add another one. But the third one I could think of from the email was when she said that he couldn't FaceTime in Kuwait. Like Kuwait is not a, like a war country. Like it, it's, it's that you have assets over there for combat. But Kuwait is like a free country. It ain't like Iraq, Afghanistan, where you just constantly in battles and stuff like that. Kuwait actually is a decent place to be stationed. It ain't that bad. So he'll be able to FaceTime, and he's not going to work seven full days a week. No, no human being can sustain that unless we in like a war effort, like where you have to for survival. But just regular seven days a week, like you're going to have to take a day off or so to recoup and regroup. So that was the uh, third red flag was that he couldn't FaceTime. Like Kuwait is not like a third world country or no way you can't you can't FaceTime. It's actually a beautiful uh, place. I actually was there uh, a couple years back. I'm stationed out there. Real nice malls so, too. But, like the moral of this video is just like be safe on social media. Like don't let people like get you involved in shit that you can't get out of. Like giving away your credit cards or buying people stuff and then you took an L for an iPhone that you just sent. Um, she was smart enough to kind of reach out and say hey this is happening to me should i do research on this he was not in the military so i you know what i'm saying so she was smart enough to like 
to like notice that it was some red flags. All right. So I appreciate you uh, this uh, writing this, giving me this video and giving me this concept and being able to help other people. And I'm sure other people will appreciate this because like I said, in the U.S., we just have this real, in the, especially in the South, man. And when I used to recruit, I noticed this. In the South, people are extremely patriotic. So they willing to give a, a US, U.S. soldier the benefit of the doubt on what he said. Matter of fact, I end this with a story about how patriotic um, people are. When I used to recruit in, in Dublin, Georgia, the it's a lot of racism down there. As y'all know, it's the South. It's the deep South. So there used to be this area called Kite. Kite, Georgia. If you know about Kite, Georgia, put it down in the comments. Well, it's like a real big clan area. But, you know, I'm trying to get numbers. I'm trying to get, recruit people to go in the military. So, me and my recruiter friend, we went to a house. And, not you know, we saw the Confederate flags outside. But we ain't going to let that stop us. Because the kid, had, the kid had like a 99 or 98 score on the ASVAB. So, we went down there anyway. Well, we got to the door. The the father opened the door. It was a he he looked at my recruiter friend who was Asian. He looked at me who was a African American man. Right, both of us in uniform. This dude told me to my face, the only reason I ain't gonna blow y'all brains out right now off my porch is because y'all wearing that uniform. And that is how patriotic people in this in the United States are. They patriotic to the point that I won't get killed in in clan country. Because of my uniform. So, that's why I say, like, you shouldn't let people uh, manipulate you online using the armed forces as a tool to manipulate you. So, I don't know how long this video was, but I hope it was a quick one because I got to get the PT. I think it's like 6.30 now, so I might be running a little late. But I told people I was going to come and do the little run with them today, even though I ain't been the one all year. <laughs> don't tell nobody. Shh. But, appreciate you guys' support, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. Oh, it's a vibe.